Now, let's talk some general health issues. Things that might be happening now that haven't happened before, as well as things you should know about women's health now that you're becoming a woman. During puberty, your hormones are in overdrive and sometimes they can affect your emotions. This is perfectly normal and is part of turning into an adult. You might also find your emotions change at different times during your menstrual cycle. This is simply your body responding to the hormonal changes going on during the cycle. This is called premenstrual syndrome or PMS. It can happen up to two weeks before your period and can make you feel irritable, moody or sad. This is a good reason to keep a menstrual calendar so you can keep track of when your feelings might change and if you feel down, talk to someone, a friend, parent or teacher. During your period, you might experience menstrual cramps. Not everybody gets them and they can vary from person to person. They're caused by the uterus contracting to discard the menstrual flow and result in aches or cramps in the lower abdomen and often some backache. You can usually manage them by gentle exercise, soaking in a warm bath, gentle warming with a heat pad or hot water bottle. Sometimes cramps can be severe and interfere with normal activities. If this is the case for you, it's best to seek advice from a trusted adult. Now that you're becoming a woman, two common ailments that you should be on the lookout for are vaginal thrush and cystitis. Vaginal thrush is a yeast infection that is usually caused by a type of fungus, candida, that lives naturally in the vagina. The most common symptoms are itching and soreness around the entrance of the vagina and vaginal discharge that is usually odourless and it can be thin and watery or thick and white, a bit like cottage cheese. Certainly different from what you'd normally experience. The good news is thrush is easily treatable. If it's your first episode, be sure to see your doctor and they will prescribe the correct treatment. Cystitis is an inflammation of the bladder, which makes you feel as though you want to pass urine. It can make urinating uncomfortable and even be painful, and you might also get pain in your bladder. The most common cause of cystitis is a bacterial infection. Cystitis is very common and most women experience it at some time in their life. If you get the symptoms, go to see your doctor as soon as possible. They will test your urine for bacteria and prescribe an appropriate treatment. Finally, let's talk about some long-term maintenance. It's a good idea for girls to develop a routine regularly checking their breasts. Look at your breasts and feel each breast and armpit. You may find it easiest to do this in the shower or bath by running a soapy hand over each breast and up and under each armpit. You can look at your breasts in the mirror. Moving your arms around will allow you to see your breasts from every angle. It's important to know how your breasts normally look and feel. That way, you can spot any changes quickly and report them to your doctor. Get used to how your breasts feel at the different times of the month. This can change during your menstrual cycle. For example, some women have tender, lumpy breasts around the time of their period. Know what's normal for you. Look at your breasts and feel them. Look for any unusual changes that worry you. Report any changes without delay to your doctor. All girls aged 12 to 13 are offered HPV, human papillomavirus vaccinations, part of their vaccination programme. 
The vaccine protects against cervical cancer. The HPV vaccine is delivered largely through schools and consists of three injections over a period of 12 months. Research has indicated that the HPV vaccine provides effective protection for at least 20 years. Also, when you get older, 20 to 25, your doctor will send you a letter about cervical screening. Cervical screening is a test to check the health of the cells of your cervix, the entrance to the womb in the vagina. Most women's test results show that everything is normal, but for around one in 20 women, the test will show some abnormal changes in the cells of the cervix. Most of these changes will not lead to cervical cancer, and the cells may go back to normal all on their own. However, in some cases, the abnormal cells need to be removed so that they can't become cancerous. Remember, although most of these issues are serious, it is not something you should worry about. You just need to be aware. If you have any further questions, ask your teacher or talk to a trusted adult.